Okay, I made a Creators of the Moon in Government Cave. Holy cow, I had no idea this cave was gonna be so awesome. <laughs> I could just skip all the other caves and come right to this one. Okay, here we, oh, what the heck? My flashlight just glitched out. All right, it's got weird settings. You can actually, okay, so there's the way out. There's the way I came in. I think that's the only entrance. Here's the ceiling where it looks cool. Like kind of a big, I don't know, tube upside down. So check it out. Here's the ladder. I was so excited about the ladder. I didn't point out the tube itself. Look at the way it is back to the side here. I'm gonna go off trail briefly. I'm not gonna trample over anything. Just wanna see how it peels away there. Okay, so now let's see if I can go up the ladder. It's not completely straight up, so I think I can go ahead and climb up while shooting video. How hard could it be? I'm still trying to maintain it. Wow, <laughs> three points of contact though. Yeah, coming back down the other way, I'm gonna lead towards not shooting video. <laughs> So, look how tall the ceiling is here. Here's looking straight ahead. That's where I was, that's the way out. Here's the ladder. Boy, this would be scary without a ladder. This is just like the lava fall in Ape Cave. About the same height too. A Little bit wider tube though. Interesting. Yeah. Ape Cave is a really good beginner's cave. I can still feel a strong wind which I'm still, means I'm still nowhere near the end. Wow. Notice here how the wall is smooth at the bottom, rougher on top. Then look at the colors here. Wow. This is a really, really, really cool cave. And then the same thing on the right. It's smooth bottom, rough on top, but it didn't peel away. Wow, there's actually a trail here on the left. Whoops, oh, that was tripped. So I'm gonna do my best to stay on the left here, do the right thing and protect the beautiful fragile cave of death. But notice how the bottom is light colored. And the top is much darker. Wow. But it's, got, it's mostly smooth, but it's got these little protrusions, kind of scary. Wow, I think <laughs> so far this trip, this is one of my favorite caves. Sometimes I'm in the mood for an easy cave, sometimes I'm in the mood for a hard cave. I'm always in the mood for a pretty cave. Look at the wall here, how rough it is. But anyway, let me get back over here. The trail, it zigzags across. But yeah, look at the floor here, how there's all those round things. I think those were blisters that popped, like they had gas inside, probably water. Very, very hot water, obviously. We're talking uh, liquid rock, right? So thousands of degrees. So I'm not sure the exact temperature, probably 1500 would be my guess, maybe 2000. Probably depends on the volcano. It's all silicon dioxide, it's basically glass. So what's the temperature to melt your windows? There you go. See, I'm trying to stay on the trail, but looks looks like there's a trail to the left, right, and then left. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to the left. Wow, the cave is opening up nice and big. Notice that nice ridge there. And all sorts of pretty colors on the ceiling. Weird that I've seen any bats though. It's not like there are any trees outside for them to live in. See, look at that, there's a cool dent out in the, oh, it's like a rupture, lining rupture in the tube. It's red rock and then the mineral deposits. And then lower, all that brown and then white. Over here on this side, it's the same thing. Here's the transition from the oranges to the whitish. Wow, very rough. And then down here, this is more traditional, what I've seen in, Mineral deposits. This is like cave popcorn, but it's brown instead of a... Uh... Wow, this is like really, really cool cave popcorn. And yet 
I've always seen white K popcorn. I don't remember seeing brown K popcorn. It makes me wonder, okay, is it dirty or does it have iron content or am I blind? <laughs> That's it, I'm blind. All right, there we are. There's F over 14, so you can get a little depth perception there. My camera doesn't have a macro lens though, so I'm not sure how close it's gonna focus this stuff. Yeah, wow. Okay, well, I'm in a nice, nice big tube, so. All right, there's F over 1.8. Weird, there's like one clean spot. <laughs> Somebody come through and wash the cave? Or is that just? Wow. And I like these little ledges. See, before, it, in the good old days, you could use that to try to climb up the wall, but there's not really anywhere to go. Let me go off trail just a second so you can see where I am. The cave is about 20 feet diameter here, 20 feet wide. So there's the trail down there. Yes, there really is a trail. This was a tourist cave. So there's the ledge, ledge, ledge. There's a small formation. See, there's not really a ledge up there. There's nowhere to go. So there's like no point in trying to get up there at all. So that's why it's better just go ahead and stay on the trail. You're not missing much. So I'm standing on the trail. Look how easy it is walking where the trail is as opposed to the breakdown next to it. But right above the trail, look at the protrusion. Luckily it's 10 feet tall. So even a basketball player probably doesn't have to worry about it. Boy, I wish I knew how long this tube is. This thing goes forever. Here's a breakdown pile. Notice how dark it is. Could mean it's relatively fresh, but even the ceiling here, look at this. It's like no mineral deposits. It doesn't look damp either. It's just really, really dark. No mineral deposits. What's funny though, look at these pock marks in the ground. That's from water dripping from the ceiling, making impact craters. If you see those, try not to step on them because if you leave them alone, they'll get really big and cool. Wow, this cave just goes forever. I'm so glad I came up here. I've known about this cave for a long time, but it's kind of the middle of nowhere. It's the kind of thing you don't want to try without a four-wheel drive. See, what's cool, so you see how there's these pock marks from water dripping on ceilings, see how they're in straight lines? That means there's some kind of straight line up ahead where the water's coming from. It could be there a crack in the ceiling where the water's coming through, or it could be at the bottom of a ridge. So let me prove how right I am. See, look at that, ridges, exactly like I said. So the water flows down the rock on the outside of the rock, and it gets to the very bottom. When it gets big enough, it falls down, straight down, unless there's a wind. There is a little airflow, but not much. And then voila, makes an impact crater. What's really cool is if you have a cave like this where there's strong airflow, like eight cave, because there's an entrance near both ends, and uh, the pockmarks, they look like dashes, because if the wind is blowing one way, it blows the water drops to the side a little bit. So, and so stronger winds, it blows farther to the side as it falls down. So look how f the whole thing is very, very flat here. So that's impressive. That's funny. Okay, here's something stupid. I don't normally encourage graffiti, but look at this. Somebody wrote, look up. So let's see if there's a point to all this. No, <laughs> there's a ceiling. It's like 30 feet above us, that's about all. Not sure what his point is, but unless he's talking about this hole here, looks like the ceiling's gonna get even taller. Like there could be an upper level up there. Wow. Of course, I have no vertical gear. I, I have vertical gear, but I left it home. No, 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 there's no upper level. Let me show you. Ceiling gets a little taller. That's about it. Glory. Wow. But look at all these impact craters. Look at this. And even here, it looks like there could have been a puddle at one time. Obviously there isn't right now, but I'm curious, does that happen every winter? Does that not happen anymore? Am I imagining things? 
The ceiling is huge though. The ceiling's like 50 feet tall now. I would show you, but I don't know if, oh no. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, never mind. I thought it was another three way. Wow. <laughs> You're gonna love this. It's another ladder. I'm going up to yet another level. Holy cow. I had no idea this cave was awesome. Nobody informed me of this. <laughs> the other caves I've been visiting around here are not nearly this long. <sighs> wow. All right, well, let's see if I can get out here without pausing my video. Heaven forbid I won't get video. In case you're wondering, I'm trying to do my three points of contact, holding on to my camera with the left hand. Oh, what the heck, I just made my light turn off. Okay, that was dumb. Hang on, I need to grab onto this rope because uh, there's nothing holding the ladder in place. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, that was too much fun. Okay, let me uh, turn around here. I'll show you what just happened. Huh. Wow, you see, this cave is huge. Oh yeah, you gotta go down this rope and then climb the ladder. The rope is holding the ladder. Wow. Luckily the rope seems to be anchored in place pretty tight. It's not like somebody could steal it. Oh wow. Look at the ceiling. Gonna have to call a cave repair, man. Huh. I don't feel as much airflow. So we could be to get near the end. There is the, the cave registry. Usually they have a cave registry at the end or the entrance. Okay says you made it. Here's the register. Everything you need should be inside this canister. This information is furnished by blah, blah, blah. If you don't want to fill out the questionnaire. Okay, before I do that, I want to see if this is really the end. Wouldn't it be funny if that was a map and then like, round, you have completed level one. <laughs> round two, fight. <laughs> oh, geez. But that's entirely plausible. There's no way I'm crawling through there. But judging how smooth the floor is, I'll bet more than one person has at least attempted to. Now, whether he succeeded in anything, I have no idea. But anyway, it's time for my break. So I'm gonna, what's this metal thing? That's not mine, is it? Oh, it looks like a cover. Somebody lost a plastic cover for something. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video and see what I need.